Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Undaunted Breakfast with Kuda Loops. In our last episode, we finally managed to change our succession law from uh, Gavelkind to Primogeniture. So at least now, once uh, Miracula here bites the bucket, um, our realm won't be torn asunder like some kind of poopy butthole. Although, I mean, it's Primogeniture and not Ultimogeniture, which is far superior to uh, Primogeniture. Uh, but once the succession actually does happen and uh, Pluten takes over, we'll uh, switch it over to Ultima Geniture at uh, our earliest convenience. Ultima Geniture being better than Prima Geniture because it's much easier to control um, uh, family eugenics this way. Uh, that way you can stop having children once you have a genius heir in line and then you can just build them up from there. And you know, it's, it's just easier that way. Um, so right now we're in a bit of a, in between a rock and a hard place, um, in that we can't really attack our neighboring Mala or Chada, uh, because they are both tributary states of the Rashtakutra. We're nearly 10,000 troops strong. I don't think we want to be, uh, getting into a royal rumble with these guys anytime soon. And then to our west are the Toglibids. Um and they are actually kind of getting their armies back. So once they do, they're going to be a little beyond reproach from us as well. Thankfully though, the Muhalabids. Sorry, apparently I've been <laughs> It turns out that I've actually been misreading the uh, Muhalabids as Mulahabids for not one but two fucking campaigns. I don't know how that happened. I just, for some reason, this never registered in my brain as Muhalabid. I've always read this as Mulahabid. It just, I don't know, for whatever reason, it maybe it just rolls off the, the tongue a little easier for me? Or maybe I'm secretly dyslexic. Who knows? But apologies for that, and thank you for pointing that out. I, <laughs> I, it wasn't on, it wasn't by uh, intention at all. It was, it's just completely accidental or something but anyways the muhalabids or the um as we like to call them the abbasids are currently facing a major revolt uh we'll see how this goes um though revolts tend to fail um but uh, i mean obviously the abbasids were ousted so that that rebellion succeeded but uh, we'll see how this one goes um so the Muhalabids are currently uh, facing a revolt, so they're uh, less likely to uh, come into the aid of the Taglibids, should there be any kind of like uh, ass blasting to happen. The Taid, I don't think are really going to be too much of a concern for us. Though if we attack them ourselves, or you know, if they came into support, that 3000 would be significant. But anyways, so I think what we'll try to do is we'll try to break down the Rashtakutra. Um, through intrigue methods, however we can. Uh, we can't really control this ourselves, but um, what I can see happening is this guy here, his wife is a little too old to be able to bear children, but he has three concubines who I believe are all within childbearing age. So what I'm hoping will happen is he'll eventually have another uh, few sons um, with his various concubines, and because his uh, succession is currently Agnatic Gavel kind, I'm hoping that uh, we can get him assassinated and his not one, not two, not however many numbers I'm uh, trying to imply, but five kingdoms will be fractured, thus making it easier for us to uh, gain territory from them and around them. I hope that made sense. I hope I wasn't just gibber jabbering, but I may have been. Um, I guess we might as well help our liege with this rebellion. Because right now, what I can see happening is the Taglabids taking advantage of this revolt and just gaining their territory. So let's muster our troops and try to help these guys out. There we go. And as expected, the Taglabids have in fact come in to uh, try to blast us in the ass, which is not great. All right, let me go kick your fucking teeth in, bitch. Am I leading troops? You know what? It was bound to happen sooner or later. Why not? 
And sure, let's go adopt the Marshall's ideas. Fantastic military technology spread rate has increased. We've lost about like 700 troops or whatever, but I'm thinking that maybe we should be okay. You know what? Let's actually stay here and try to uh, win this territory over. I think that might be the easiest and best way to serve our liege. There we go. Fantastic. So at least now the Taglibids can't just uh, declare a war on the rebellion and try to get uh, territory that way. Try to, try to, whoa, 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 whoa! Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah. Let's have our troops teleport back home. Thank you very much. Oh, shit. Um... We do have some money to spend. I'm kind of wondering if maybe we should try to hire a mercenary group and then take the fight to the Taglibids and then dismiss the mercenary group once the ass blasting has commenced. In fact, we can get Caval Camelry, which are the best retinue. We'd have about maybe 4,000 troops. I think with the number of Caval Camelry that we would be able to get, we should be able to take these guys on, I think. Well, here's hoping, guys. Knock on wood. Here we go. And, all right, this fight we got. Great, did we fight this guy in person or what? Or are you just showing me a glorious portrait of myself and my enemy? All right, we have enough money for at least a few more fights. And this guy wants me to pick the theology focus. How about you go pick your ass until you die? How does that sound for a uh, proposal? Obviously a very shitty proposal. Uh, pro tip guys, if your loved one ever proposes to you um, by telling you to go pick your ass, probably not the right person to marry. Just saying. Wait. Oh, fuck me. Oh no! All of this has been for naught. I made a terrible mistake! Anyways, a famous writer proposes to compose your fami family chronicles. Well, I don't really have the money, so let's just go ahead and ignore him. You assbagger. Shit, we're gonna try to follow this guy. Um... Sure, Buchod. Why not? I'm, I'm glad that... Getting all those virtues and whatever is... Working out well for you there, bud. Okay, so we might be able to possibly... Bitch, mother, come light my bottom. I don't think we'll have enough money for the... Rebellion for the next month. Which... Kinda sucks. Mmm... Yeah, we're definitely broke now. Okay, good. I was kinda worried that he might turn on us, but... Uh, no, he's decided to just... Uh, you know, whatever. Alright, you know what? I think maybe we should be okay. Our liege... With the troops that we have combined, I think we should be able to fend off the Taglibids. Assuming that our liege doesn't just squander everything like a fucking idiot. He appears to be squandering everything like a fucking idiot. Sure. And what is this? You want to institute ruler title revocation? Absolutely not. Whoa! We actually won that fight? Wow, wow, we wow. Good for us. Why does the game seem to think that we have 4,108 troops here? We clearly do not. Um, guys, we only have 2,614. What the devil is going on here? Hopefully we should be okay, but... Oh, no, we won that fight again. I... Do not understand what is happening, but I like it. Um, so why not? If my opinion ruled, the world would be a much, or sorry, would be a more chaotic but fun place. If I keep following the laws, the world would have less chaos but also less, uh, be less fun. Be just, be just, be just. We failed. All right. Wow. Holy crap, holy. This is working out well for us. Somehow we're able to fend them off, despite the fact that they've had uh, more troops for, I think, just about every single fight. Though, again, I could be wrong, but anyways. Alright. Let's get some of that sweet, sweet juice going. Fantastic. 
Where are you going, man? Fend these guys off. Go, blast them in the ass. What are you doing? Ah, oh, you dumbass. What are you doing? When casually strolling around the premises, as one often do, you come across Pujari... Jism face sitting at his desk, overburdened with work. You see that... You see this as a great opportunity to help him out and gain a favor in return, but to your surprise, he not only refuses your help, but has the nerve to insult you for it. Well, maybe not stick my nose in places where it doesn't belong. Is this guy actually sieging this down? Okay, he is. Okay, let's wake this guy up. Do you have a beating stick? This guy totally has a beating stick. Sure, let's be friends with the guy who has a beating stick. Why not? Alright, we're at 79%. And we're, uh, I guess, sieging down Sonda. Good for you. And China has apparently done something. Oh shit, there was a succession! Crap! Oh man! Just died of severe stress at the age of 35? Ah, oh, you ass bag! Damn it! That didn't go according to plan at all! Crap all over it! Fuck. Oh well, it's fine. Okay, wait, so what happens now? If we get this guy assassinated, then his heir is his brother's. Can we do it? It might be possible to assassinate him. Though I think we might need to bribe a few people to get that going. Oh, well, let's not bother, it's fine. Let's just use the money towards something that's a bit more productive, like uh, upgrading our castle towns, for example. Uh, castle walls, and that place, I guess we should probably go for a military building, but let's hold off on that for the time being. And my concubine is dead, sorry, my former concubine is dead. Wow, she did not look happy. I told you guys, we should have had like better accommodations in her prison, but no, apparently not. Who are you? You're a commander. Are you related to the... Oh, you are. Oh, oh, right. Because that's the family name. Right, right. The surname goes in front. Uh, let's have you go flat terrain expert. Thank you very much. Awesome. Like father, like son. And we're taking back Ludrava. Our holding in Kutch is under siege. By this son of a bitch. Holy war for Stravani. How about you go eat an ass? Like, not, not eat a donkey, um, but eat an ass, as in, like, go find, like, a diseased, rotting butt, and then just eat that. How does that sound? Sound good? Group of wandering Buddhist monks have come to visit the province. They are staging impressive shows of acrobatic unarmed fighting techniques in the villages. Can we gain it? Oh, not today. Not today. Why can't I join your war? Uh, is it because I'm already following your troops? Um, and we can increase our cultural technology points. It's a fair bit of money, but we'll go for it. Okay, so in our capital, let's go ahead and upgrade our uh, militia training grounds. I think early on, uh, troops, um, troop number kind of counts more than uh, troop type. Initially, of course, uh, later on, if, um, the troop count does matter quite a bit. Oh, what the shit all over it. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're going to lose this. Yep, we lost that one. Oh, crap all over it. Uh, sure. In the meantime, let's go visit some dude's rose garden. Fucking. Okay, you know what? I think we might need to lower and re-raise our troops here. You want me to go on a secluded meditation? Yeah, sure, you know what? Why not? Let's go ahead and dismiss my levy and re-raise. And then afterwards, we'll go fight this asshole. Um, sure. Let me help you with their gardening bullshit. And why is it that I can't join that? Or am I already a part of it? I may already be a part of it. Alright, so first things first, I think we want to attack the weaker army, try to get this war 
finished up, as it were. And then we'll uh, turn our attention down south. Great, we've killed some dude, and we're about to lose this fight. My daughter wants to be the spy master. Well, right now you have equal stats, so unfortunately I'm just gonna have to go with my uh, current. What? Are you kidding me? What the hell was that, man? What the unbelievable shit was that? Come on, man. You know what? Pluten, why don't you uh, lead the flank there? Alright. Let's try this again. I don't understand why you lost. That makes no sense. Get out of my face, Maya. You're joking. What, is it the troop composition or something? The fuck does he have? What the hell, man? Unbelievable. Fine. Let's just help our liege uh, do this. Hopefully we should be able to, um... Mm. Yeah, I think as long as we take the territory back, we should be okay. Oh, I see. This guy's declared a war on... Pala. Interesting. We'll see how that goes. Wait, that just reset to 0%. I can't stand it any anymore. Every time we have a visitor from a another realm in the court of the Maharaja, Maharaja Vinyak Pala II makes a fool of himself trying to impress our visitors with his non-existent knowledge of foreign languages. Sure, I guess we'll try to tutor him. Uh, my liege expressed his gratitude for my offer to tutor him in the languages of foreign courts. My liege also commended me for the extra effort I put in for the sake of the realm. So now he owes me a favor. White peace! Interesting. Hmm. That could have gone a lot better, I will admit. Alright, let's just join this guy's war again. Okay. So, we are following the troops for sure. Fantastic. The cooks had prepared a magnificent meal with lots of different fruits, various kinds of meat, plenty of freshly baked bread, and several mature cheeses. Well, nobody has many friends as a man with many cheeses, so let's go with... Uh, or actually, no. That would be going gluttonous. Let's go temperate. And we failed. We failed at becoming temperate. Unbelievable. So, wait. Do these guys just have, like, crazy low decadence? I mean... It's a 14% increase to, um... Morale of domain troops. I don't think that should really make that much of a difference. Are you sure you have 4,730, uh, um, dudes? Oh. Oh, I see. Uh, he's caught my chancellor. Uh, that's not good. Alright, let's go uh, rank up to the last rank here. Chancellor, I don't know if I should employ Pluten as my Chancellor. So let's just have you do this instead. Oh! Oh, look at that! It appears that the Mala have become no more. So now, um... Let's try to fabricate a claim for Vadodara. We don't necessarily need to be fabricating claims. Great. But uh, I think fabricating claims and waging wars that way is a lot easier than uh, going border dispute wars. Chancellor um, Raja Miracula has a look of parental disappointment in his eyes. That's me. What? I believe, I believe you could have done this well if only you'd put your mind to it. Unfortunately, your disinterest is all too apparent in your absence from our meetings. With your permission, I will henceforth, henceforth uh, focus on more useful work instead of waiting for you, my liege. What? Wait, that's me. You will watch your tongue or lose it. Am I saying this to my liege? Or is he saying this to me? And then I gain wrath. What the fuck? Although I have I learned less than expected, thank you for your time. What the shit? <laughs> so I become patient, but I was already patient. 
I don't understand what is happening. <laughs> okay. That's great, sure. Oh, <laughs> that's the Chancellor guy, right? That's hilarious. What the hell? This, ga this game is so bugged. Apparently, I'm in the monastery. Um, trying to learn stuff. And this guy, this, my former Chancellor that I sent to, us. Uh, um, so descent in the uh, Rashtakutra kingdom is sitting there with me? Am I just sitting outside his prison cell or I don't understand what's going on? But sure, let's discuss the Mahadaraba or whatever. Good grief. Alright, let's be friends. Sure, sure. Alright, bitch. Try to take back our lands. Thank you very much. And next one, please. And thank you. Fucking this asshole. He's so fast. Alright, go catch up to him, man. Unbelievable. What a little... What? The tortoise company? With whom are you at war? Oh, with everyone. <laughs> I don't... I'm... I'm so lost. What is happening? <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Okay, so there's still 41 living members of the Rashtakutra, um... Dynasty. And I've gained Brave. Fantastic. So yeah, I don't think, uh... Wiping out the Rashtakutra is a... What the hell? The Toglibids have taken the former Chada Kingdom. Wow, wow, wee wa. What a golden opportunity. I say golden opportunity, but of course we still need to de actually defeat the Toglibids in order to gain the uh, stuff here. So that's going to be a little tough. No. The Abbasids have wrestled control back or from away from the Mullahabids. The, from the... Uh... From the... Uh... Muhalabids. Oh, rather, no, oops. I did it again. Shit. Ah, uh, wow. What is this giant kerfuffle that's happening? Uh, in my liege during my stay in Mohadavaska, I found a great philosopher who has agreed to help me with my studies to enhance culture in the county. Uh, county. With your permission, I would suggest that we employ him. Sure. Let's do it. I mean, it's a, quite a fair bit of money, but I think it's fine. Go upgrade our barracks. Uh, Castle Town is fully done, so let's move on to our militia training grounds. And that's that place, right? Okay, good. Here, we'll upgrade the Castle Town. Thank you very much. And we're left with 17 ducats. 17 delicious, delicious ducats. We could actually give this guy spiritual guidance. Why? I guess if I really wanted my liege to be a better, but... Eh, that's garbage. Um, in the meantime, I think everything else is going decently, I would say. Yeah, sure, let's just give my... Uh, court... Council members some honorary titles and all that stuff. Pluten, I guess we might as well... Whoa! Holy crap! I think Pluton actually gained Brave um, from leading all those uh, fights and shit. Alright, so this ass bag, it's gonna be a little while before we can go to war with him. My friend's friend is also my friend, a, a motto I try to live by, and sometimes that is an easy truth. A friend of a friend was introduced and I immediately felt a kind of connection with a stranger. Sure, be friends, why not? Okay, I don't know when I started disliking Captain Pratanamana. Uh, it must have been why when he disagreed with me about how the peasants should be treated. The more we talked, the less I liked Captain. Um, and enough was enough. We would never be friends, only rivals. What the shit? He's a leader of the Bengal Company. Good grief. Alright, so this guy... It appears that we might be able to get him killed too. And once his son dies, 
most likely pass on to this guy over here. Um, and he is childless as well. I don't know how far down the rabbit hole we can go. So wait, what hap What exactly happened with these guys? Like, wh what happened that the Mulhabids... Uh, sorry, not the Mulhabids. Uh, they did it again, the Mu Muhalabids. But not what happened that the Taglibids felt comfortable enough to attack the tributary state of the Rashtakutra? Or maybe the Rashtakutra were just unable to respond in time. I'm assuming that's what it was. Okay, so we'll try to go for the remaining part of the uh, Duchy of uh, Lata over here. Um, matters of life and death. I really don't really... Don't really want to be immortal with Miracula the Old here. Although, his Marshal and Stewardship are actually pretty good. But I'm only doing this because I don't want to um, gain content. Content is the worst. Alright, well, let's do it. Matters of life and death. With age comes wisdom, they say. Or at least it may change the questions we ask, you, mu you mutter to yourself. You have had trouble sleeping lately. More often than not, while the rest of your court is sound asleep, you find yourself staring at the ceiling. You are getting older, each day closer to leaving this plane of existence. It is folly to fear such things, of course. Yet you cannot keep these feelings at bay. Didn't you used to dream, uh, didn't you used to dream of grander things? What about you carving your own path? What happened to your ambitions? You sit up straight in your bed. This is ridiculous. You are the ruler. You have people ready to serve your any whim. Perhaps your counselors have ideas. If nothing else, it might ease your trouble sleeping. Alright, summon the council. A meeting of the minds. Your council convenes and the faces of your advisors speak of confusion. Why are we here, my lord? It comes with a hint of concern. You sit down and the suspense is almost tangible as you leave the question hanging in the air. Finally, you speak and without disclosing much of your current nightly restlessness, you convey the message eloquently enough. I want to discuss the concept of life and death. And I want to look into everlasting life. They nod slowly. So, what do you think? The spirit rises in the room as your counselors start to talk, some hesitantly, some gesturing wildly. They all have ideas. Uh, uh, just, I don't know, organize a search party, I guess? Or wait, what's this? I would rather not make any decisions on my own. Perhaps this issue is best resolved by the council. They were hired for a reason after all. So I'm assuming if, the, if I do this, it'll just default to the uh, dude whose uh, martial score I have the highest of. That make any sense? Eh, whatever, it's fine. We'll just opt out of it at some point or another. And I've gained stress. Well, I am 71 years old. Not to imply that old people are, you know, just stressed all the time, but... Okay, so we have a maximum potential of 5,721. And this Jewish man is in my prison. Why? Zoroastrian Faith Triumphant. Good for you guys. Oh, look at you with your triumphant Zoroastrianism. At a boy. Uh, let's just go ahead and ransom all the prisoners that we can. I don't know so who some of these people are. Who are you? Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just ransom these dudes. 140 ducats. Not bad. Sure, sure. That's great. Anyone else I can ransom? One person. Fantastic. And how are the Rashtakutra doing? Wait, I guess we don't really need to worry about the Rashtakutra anymore. Right, because the Malwa don't exist anymore. So we don't need to worry about um, angering the Rashtakutra if we attack their former tributary state. And the um, Chada no longer exist. So we need to just watch out for the uh, Taglibids. Alright, so I'm thinking when the Abbasids face another major revolt. Uh, or hopefully maybe even like a decadence revolt. Because their decadence is actually fairly high. We might be able to go in and blast them in the ass. In the meantime, um, since I don't plan on doing a border dispute war, let's just go ahead and spend some of our money on military buildings. Paying your passage. I'm not going to say I believe the stories, but we have picked up some promising information, my lord. Kun Gyalator says. However, uh, we could do with some more supplies if you are to journey even further. 
In fact, I would like to send word to hire scouts in certain more distant regions, if we are to follow the leads and continue this... mission. He pauses at the door, his posture strained. Of course, there are other ways to reach eternity, he sighs. When you open your mouth to respond, indignantly, he interrupts you. I suppose the attitude comes with the job master. My apologies. The marshal exits the room, his steps growing fainter as you consider your options. I can give him money, I can give him less money, I can give him no money. No money, absolutely not. Let's just hope it uh, fuzz, uh, fizzles out um, here and now. Tanglebids have had this revolt for quite a long time, I think. There's another Hindu revolt, but that's obviously not going to be very powerful. So I don't think now would be a good time to attack, especially since we don't have nearly enough troops. Alright, well, let's leave the episode off here for now. Um, we're not in that much of a different situation than when we started this episode. But at least we don't need to worry about the Rashta Kutra coming in to defend the former Malwa. Uh, same with the Chada, but now we have the, the Taglibids that we need to contend with. Which is going to be irksome at best. Alright, so for now... Thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.